the words and I got the flow. See, I don't gotta write, I got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yeah, that's called a ghost writer. Jeremiah 5 and 14, that's so fire. Isaiah 14 and when I retire. Out of captivity, I broke the iron. Who that is coming out of Mount Zion? Woolly head, looking like a lion. A thousand men marching with no drums on, no trombone, just... Uh, a lot of people, um, you know, it's great hatred of the Israelites. Um, uh, Christ said that in Matthew 10, that we should be hated of all nations. That's right. They right. right. wasn't being hated for being Negroes. They love us being niggas and niggets and right. dots and right. whores and right. pimps and drug dealers. No hatred out of that. They love you when you're a buffoon. But when you actually stand up and be something more than they intended for you to be, especially when you... Stand up to be the sons and daughters of God. Right. You start to hear them talk, and that's that's the sound of fear. We gonna go into this is why they they you starting to hear the sound of fear from Esau and his minions. This Play is what video of Bishop Yawasak. The likes of this city has not seen well ordered, disciplined, honorable men that has respect for themselves and for their people. The Lord has got his hands on this nation of Israel. The Lord has got his, got his hand on the congregation of IUIC Israel United in Christ. We will not be intimidated. We will not be threatened. We will not be backed down. That don't happen with us. You got the wrong group. So you better just listen to it and bow down to it. Because the Most High's kingdom is coming through. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Praises that was in uh Gastonia, Gastonia right? Just last week, we put boots on the ground. We will not be intimidated. That's, That's right. right. Now play that next video when we was in New Orleans. This is what they fear. And 11. Read that in Revelation chapter 11 and 11. Matter of fact, let's read verse 8 first and then we'll jump down to verse 11. Bring it let's read that. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Their dead, our dead bodies. Get that in Ephesians 2 and 1. Why would God call his people? Uh, the the dead. Why would he say they dead in the streets? Ephesians two and one. Ephesians chapter two and verse one. Uh -huh. And you hath he quickened. Whoa. Okay. Read that again. And you hath he quickened. Uh huh. Who were dead in trespasses and sins. There you go. That's what causes you to be dead when you live a life of sin. You are dead in the eyes of God. Hell, you feel dead in your soul too. That's why we got. We, we can kill each other so easily, and then we want to march when somebody else does us wrong. But with each other, we quick quick to kill each other, run each other over with a daggone car, anything. Stab each other, this? shoot each other. It's because we dead on the inside ourselves, so we don't see life in nobody. No, because we dead in sins. Now go back to uh, Revelation 11 and 8. 
Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. Yeah. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. That's great street is, uh, city is America. Go ahead. Which spiritually, spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, uh -huh. where also our Lord was crucified. Now, you, you would think that if anybody came back from life, it would be a miracle and everybody would have their hands right. up right. and thanking the Lord that now they are alive and... You know, uh, they got a second chance, and God did a miracle, a miraculous thing. Jump down at verse 11. Verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. Uh -huh. And they stood upon their feet. And we stood up upon our feet. So we came up. You was dead. You got up. You was risen from the dead, right? What happened with the nations? Read. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. They want, they're not happy. They are happy when we stay dead in a dead estate and don't ever rise back up. That makes white people happy. They, that, they, 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 they have accomplished their goal. Go ahead. They are happy when they see the young black man saying, the Christian family saying, I accepted my transgender yeah. son. Yeah. 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 Exactly right. Exactly right. Uh, now here's the proof of it. Here's what it sounds like that fear when, because it said they when they stood on their feet, great fear fell upon them. This is what it sounds like because we always think it about the uh, motion of what it looks like to be fearful. But what does that sound like? Let's play that next video so we can hear it. There you go, Gaston County. This has been our nation guard for two years now. Turn him up. Getting bigger and stronger every week. Running back again. Look what he said. It's what that fear sound like, y'all. Bigger and stronger. Listen to defeated in his voice. Yeah. I love, this. I love it. Getting stronger every week. Here you go, Gaston County. This has been our nation guards for two years now. Getting bigger and stronger every week. This is a cult church. That's the old outlaws used to be. He talk about this is a cult church. See, that's the fear right there. Mm. Because he never said it about Christianity. Right. When a bunch of black folk get together in Christianity and play uh, uh, oldies from the 80s and the 90s mm -hmm. and, the, and the booty shaking music of today, they don't look out and say they're getting bigger and stronger every year. <laughs> this is a cult. Hey, right. hey Cap, one thing that um, the reason why he said that it's fair because he never seen black man organized outside right. of yeah. the club. Yep. So now you go outside of the programming that right. they have set mm -hmm. for us. Now they are scared. Now it's a cult church. Please. Go ahead, let that play. Yelling, screaming. This is not a church that worships God. Spreading hate. Hate and intimidation. Stop right there. Hate and intimidation. Spreading hate and intimidation by standing in columns right. in order. Come on. That's hate and intimidation. I'm telling that's what Esau wants out of us. That's why it's a it's a major push to program the young black man of this generation to be weak and effeminate when they grow up. So they, so it doesn't make the white man feel uncomfortable yeah, in his uh, right. kingdom. kingdom. Right. And that's that's right. Right. Intimidate him. Where's the, the burning crosses? Right. Right. Where's the mask? Right. Right. Where's the bats laced right. with, uh, with barbed wires on it? Right. Where's that? Where's the intimidation part at? Mm. Where's the cries against, oh, oh Esau, you, oh, white man, we coming to get you. You this, this is sundown town. There's none of that going on. Yeah, so where's the intimidation he's talking about? I'm telling you, that devil, he's always programmed to push propaganda at the end of every sentence right. against yeah. us. <laughs> His last breath is propaganda, man. Right. I'm telling you, that's a devil. He's a programmed devil as soon as he pop out of the womb. Look at him. You heard what he said? This is war! This is not the church. Because we're not bound down God. to him. Right, yeah. That's a devil. And you know how his uh, intimidation, uh, or he's saying that we are those uh, people that's trying to intimidate. The first thing he said was, this was an old, he said, no, he said, Gaston, Gaston County, mm -hmm. look what you've done. You know he talking to. Like, you mm -hmm. let these black people in our white town, there you go. and look what you've done. You Two didn't check their paperwork. Across there. Yeah, you didn't check their paperwork. You didn't stop them at the, uh, the government house, right, right. the courthouse. 
Look what you've done. Look what they've become. Two years. Strong. You always hear that. Oh, there goes the neighborhood. There you go. Yep. Exactly what he said. We in this man. building. Uh, yeah, because that's right. what they, and you know, the intimidation is, is the, is that black skin and beards. We yeah. don't look, we don't look like boys. Right. Yeah. He see, Cap, he see Ezekiel 37. Yes. Right. Yep. That's what right. he sees. Exactly. Our what he people, sees. our people see uh, a step team. Um, one of those, what is it? Mm-hmm. The, the, one fraternities. of the fraternities. Fraternities. But when the heathen look at us, they see Ezekiel 37. There you go. That's the spell of death. Ooh, that's the spell right. of death that's for them. Because right. what he says in the video, we're going to get to it. What do you say? Uh, they only care about themselves. Meaning they don't welcome. They don't love like They don't, them. yeah. They don't uh, <laughs> uh, assimilate. Hell yeah, yeah. no. Right. Yep. Play that video. They only recognize themselves. Hey, Paul. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Ain't that what Trump doing? Right. Yeah. Ain't that what Trump doing when he said make America great again? Right. Ain't he recognizing white folk that was made America great? Yeah. Ain't talk about black folk. Black That's folk it. didn't have a hand in making America great outside of they damn backs being whipped. Right. right. No. Everything Trump does, he's what does Trump say? That was the greatest thing. I was the greatest president. That was the greatest policy. Yeah. That was the greatest this. That was the greatest that. What is he doing? He's recognizing himself as the greatest. Yep. But you don't have no problem with that. Not mm-hmm. at all. Because it affirms white supremacy. There you go. Anything with that that affirms black folk looking strong, yeah. it makes the white mm. man fearful. Right. Damn. Let it play. How are we allow this to happen, guys? That's a call to the plane. Listen to these chants. This is not the military. You can't steal our cadences and turn them into hate. Uh, That's not cadences. how it works. Pause it right there. How's that? How's that? The military. It's just call and response. Right. Right. That's how you chant. That yeah. damn it. It's call like and that. response. They don't yeah, like right. that. Man. But yeah, what, what happened it. to caring about ourselves? He, he now is his cadence. Right. It should be our cadence. Right. Where, that, yeah, where, yeah. Where's Good the hour point. now? Good now we there. there's the. Good point. <laughs> but just remember, he got black friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that said, "I got black friends." Yep. They sit on the board of Gaston County. Yeah. Crazy. Go ahead. Let that play. Israel United Christ in Church. Yes. They united, that's for sure. You damn that right. Not for All right. Wake up, sheep. Yeah, that's the sound of fear right there. Oh, yeah. that like that's this. the sound Dude. of fear, y'all. And 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 uh, it, you know, here else is what it sounds like—the sound of fear when they see order out of black man Ezekiel thirty-seven. Us standing up, getting up out of the dust, out of the confusion from where we came from, the lowest state, the low mental uh, state where we always see them as better than us. They God, they Jesus, they need to be worshipped and reverence. They don't see that when they look at us. And here's some more of that fear. What it sounds like. Go ahead, play that. This right here is a huge problem. Pause it. There you go. That's fear. Huge problem. Huge problem. Now, if they was, if we was just, uh, um, if we was white dudes with tiki torches, Mm -hmm. that wouldn't be a problem. I I haven't seen white people make a video about this is a major problem when they walk down with tiki torches and says, you will not replace us. Or when they stormed the Capitol building, Captain. I ain't hear no problems. You hear what Trump say, he get in office, he, he, uh, uh, everybody uh, getting party. Yeah, everybody Uh, getting party. party. Yep. Party Party. Party everybody. Yep. Yep. And and one way that it's a problem too is that they see the order of things. They see that black men are just lining up for one common goal. That's a problem. That's a problem. Major problem. Go ahead, let it play. This right here is a huge problem. I'll get to it in one second. Watch this. I 
I have sat back and watched over the last few years and watched this false doctrine become so mainstream. And every time I've seen a Christian... Oh. Ain't that the same thing the other dude said? Just like, exactly. He said these last two years, yep. they're getting bigger yeah, and stronger. Bigger every right. What he said, I've sat back and watched these last few years, and now it's become mainstream. Yeah. That's same fear. Yep. We in this building! Talking. That's something that, that these black men are not these Christian, docile Negroes that we destroyed in Christianity no more, they are actually standing up as the people of God. I don't you know, maybe when you read the book, these people, that, this is why you can't listen to white folk when it comes to the Bible, man. They don't read the Bible in its totality. They right. are all Jesus is love, God is love. They don't read about the wars that Israel went in there and right. took over a land. They don't read about them going to wars angels coming down killing 185,000 people they don't read all this stuff they right. they got jesus wept john 3 16 jew and gentile yeah Eight. remember remember cat they fell for their own lies yeah it's been told so many times that same rhetoric oh jesus they is white they all that whole blasphemy rhetoric so now they begin to grow into their lies mm -hmm. fulfill that lie yeah. upkeep that lie yeah a lot of them, a lot of times, what they leave out is those wars that a lot that Israel fought. Those was orders from God. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot of right. them was orders from God. They <laughs> yeah. Right. Go up yeah. and fight. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. That's right. Let that video play. And every time I've seen a Christian contend with them over the scriptures, they have lost every single time. Oh, right. right. Hey. Damn. Damn. That's cold blood. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now that part right there, you gotta ask yourself: How 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 can we talk about the Bible and then right. you lose? Obviously, that means your doctrine is wrong. Right. Yeah. That's, right. That's, That's right. it. Right. right. That means he agree with what yeah. we bring yeah. out. That's oh, oh. Right. He said God every single that? time oh. they lose. Yeah. That means mm. he's watching us. Like, damn, that's a good precept. Hey, no. Oh, I understand. Yeah, he's right. right. Cap, you know, almost hey. all of them say that. You know how they say? It? They say it in different ways. Oh, yeah. One, they might say, "Well, they never lose when it comes to the Bible." Another one will say, "Man, they they uh they militant, but they know that Bible." Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. say that. Yeah. Yeah. that's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. they know, they know the What's the other one? Um, was it Der Eric Derek Mason, the one who wrote the book against us? Uh, yeah, he would say he, he went and held the whole uh, seminar. What he'll say is, oh, yeah. you got you Christians ain't studied. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, what he'll say. Y'all yeah, yeah, ain't studied. Yeah, yeah. Yes. What's going yeah. on, y'all? <laughs> what's, what's going on? If we just a cult, a fly by night, you know, bunch of uh, hoodlums putting mm -hmm. our heads together. What's the threat? Yeah. What, what's the threat? How right. we how y'all losing right? every single day? Right. 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 So that means we we believe in the Bible more than you do. Boom. Yeah. Right. We read it. Right. Yeah. I just carry it. Hey, one thing yeah, that he he's one nah, thing. he don't he, he don't say that um they out talk us. He don't say they yeah, get loud. They, no. He said, y'all, we lose. Nice. That means there's a there's a, a judgment factor. Damn. That scripture goes right with what yeah, they were right, saying. Right. Yeah. There's a, a metric to the right. win yeah. or loss. Because any fight, a boxing match, if you get knocked out, you lose. Or if the judges say that uh, he points. won more rounds, yeah. more yeah. Points, points, he wins. So obviously there's a judgment factor he said man we lose every time hey, Cap, when, when he says that he's acknowledging one thing he's acknowledging that we teach the truth yeah so so w when you acknowledge that Good that point. means he acknowledged that christ is not white but right. he's black right well, he's not doing think. anything about it to kind of change the narrative because he likes us being oppressed get that in luke 21 verse 15. Bring it out. luke 21 verse 15 every time they lose <laughs> Read that when you get it. Luke chapter 21 and verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. You wonder why you lose every time? Because it's the wisdom of Christ that we're That's speaking it. with. That right. You thought this wise is in Christ. Your, you, that, what that is called is kicking against the pricks. Yeah, 100%. For them to even make this video, they, they don't even know what they're doing because they are moved by fear. It's not even logic no more because they acknowledge Christians lose every single time. Uh, they're getting bigger and bigger every single year. We got to stop them. We can't let them keep doing what they're doing. We can't let them keep uh, putting precepts and understanding together. We can't let them uh, uh, come together and gather together and be one people. We can't let them do it. 
that is fear that is casting logic out of the window. Because mm-hmm. if we are winning these debates, like he says, right. well, then that means we know what we're talking about. Right. Well, then that means that it, it adds up. Well, we got, uh, they see so many people then because obviously what they teaching is better than Christianity because right, right. Christians lose every right. time they come across them. But the fear says we can't let them do this. Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm. Play that video. Fear throwing logic out the window. They have lost every single time as if they don't even know the Bible. But allow me so your path is made clear. Pause it. We don't want to hear your ass. <laughs> right. Yeah. Think, yeah. You think, you think have a seat. Great, Get out of here. Have, have a seat. Have a seat. So you look like an armadillo. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with his hair? Can I could get a script? Yeah. Let me get Acts chapter 5 verse 39. I'm going to show you that Christians do not believe in this scripture right here. Because no matter how much they see, oh, this, this stuff is growing, they are, they, they keep mo- we keep multiplying, they don't believe this scripture right here. Read. Acts chapter 5 and verse 39. But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it, uh-huh. lest haply ye be found even to fight against God. Mm-hmm. If you think that, that what we're doing is not of God, then just let it, let it be. Leave right. it alone. Right. Leave it alone. God will handle it. The yeah. reason you can't let that happen because you know God is in the works. That's right. it. That's right. Satan kicks in auto, on autopilot for mm-hmm, him. Mm-hmm. Don't leave him alone. Don't leave him alone. Here you go. Satan steps in. Autopilot. Yep. Can't leave him alone. Yep. To make some videos to slander yep. him and show how, how our, all the fear we got in our bones and yeah. our spirit. Because all he can do is make the video. He know he can't come up to us. Right. That's person. it. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, let me save you. No, come Yeah, because to he'll be another check on the lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he don't yeah. want to. He got a platform. He ain't going to nah, mess up his platform. Nah, nah. Right. So he yeah. ain't going to put us on TikTok with him. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, buddy. <laughs> Another L for your ass. And, but what happens yeah. with you hear the fear of Esau that they see us stand upon our feet. We not uh, um, uh, walking around with our head down mm-hmm. and every make an eye contact. We look at the ground. We get off on the sidewalk and we uh, um, we we worship in holding them in high esteem. Mm-hmm. They always recruit their minions of our people to come against us as well. It ain't just them. They always recruit the minions that are fearful of their own people right. as well. Play that video and they always end up sounding zesty a lot of times. Play yeah. the video. Yeah. You see this? This is people that supposedly consider themselves as modern day black Hebrew Israelites. But I'm telling you now that is a lie from Pause the it. devil. No. How you a modern day black, black Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite? Israelite. Where is uh, ancient black Hebrew Israelite, Israelite in the Bible? Hey. <laughs> How you a modern day black oh. Hebrew Israelite? That, that's fear right there. Yeah, you can't even give you your fear. proper title. Yeah. Yeah. No. No that, you know how you get uh, scared and you just start saying whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, what the hell Rambles. you just yeah. say? I don't know. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't Go ahead. Matter. Play it. Because the only Israelites were the descendants of Isaac and Jacob. And no, Israelites in the body of Christ are not the same. And one of these so-called black Hebrew Israelites tried to walk up to me and tried to hand me a piece of paper saying that I'm one of God's true people. And not only that, they tried to claim that God only loves black people and that everybody else is going to hell. That's a dangerous doctrine that they try to preach because in John 3, 16. It's- oh, there you go. That's they one. Oh, there you go. That's they one. Oh, that's it. Come with something else, man. Christian, your Christian doctrine is just so basic right, to yeah, dismantle. Right. Yep. John three sixteen, Galatia. They they've tried. Yeah. The only way reason they have upgraded at all is because they've came into contact with right. us. When we stood upon our feet. Christ gave us the His wisdom, and we begin to understand the entire Bible. Now they try to upgrade with Hebrews four. Right. Romans 4, yeah. Galatians 3, mm-hmm. but they don't even understand those. That's why when they come across us, they get destroyed and they become fearful and they make videos like this to try to deter other people from listening to us because they know if other people hear us, right. yep. they're going to be standing up on their feet in their great army soon enough. Yeah. Yeah, they're they going to understand the same exact thing that the scoffer understood yeah. that he could not come back. Yeah. Because if you ran out of, if you had nothing after the discussion to combat the understanding that came out and you lost, that means you understood what came out. Yep. Hey, one thing is that don't listen to Negroes that start reading the Bible. I mean, start reading a book 
in the middle of a in, 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 in the middle of the book. In the middle of the book. That dude is crazy. I don't think he reads. Doesn't read. No. That dude was straight John yeah, 316. Yes, now, right. now, and then it's the other was good. show the fear of our own people. You would think that our own our people would see what we do standing up upon our feet with the wisdom of Christ that cannot be gainsaid. You would think that some way they would support us instead of being fearful and make videos and things like this. But this that's the same thing that um uh, our ancestors did when Christ stood up on the scene. Get that in John chapter 11. They did the same thing. John chapter 11, reverse 47 and 48. This is, this is just them fearful once again, back on the earth, yep. doing what they've always done when they seen the prophets of God stand upon their feet and gather together. Read that. John chapter 11 and verse 47. Uh -huh. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, what do we? That's For this the, that's, that'd be your uh, uh, pastors and uh, what's some other ones called? The pathetics? Yep. Yeah, Apologies. Apologies. Yeah, that's them gathering together. The pastors and the pathetics gathered together. Read on. For this man doeth many miracles. They, he do what? Many miracles. What you see right the there, a black man standing together mm -hmm. in order that's a, with some discipline. That's that's a miracle. Right, a miracle. 100%. We ain't uh uh we ain't in the uh chasing the women down. No, we ain't, we ain't fighting, right. ain't no shooting, ain't, ain't none of that stuff. When we come together, that has never been heard no. amongst us. You see orderly, godly, spiritual mm -hmm. men standing upon their feet, right. being a light to the world automatically. It's, it's straight fear. You can't see that as a miracle. And what are we saying when we standing together? Shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Right. Take care of our wives. There you go. There you go. And our children's too. We was drug dealers. We not no, no more. more. We was whores, uh, whatever. We not no more. Hey, oh. brother. Marry that sister. There you go. Dress modestly, sister. Yeah. 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 So That's what we're that? saying. And that is, oh, no, no, no. That, that doctrine is false. Sound yeah, like they racist mean? to me. Yeah. yeah. You're so, racist. They want to drop a dime on us. Drawing, nah. <laughs> nah, these brothers want the uh, family to come back together. Mm. No, nah, I can't have that. That's Drop it. A dime on that. They right. can't acknowledge it as a miracle when they see. They can't say it openly, although they see it with their eyes. They won't say it openly. They'll speak fear to yeah. deter people. Now, read verse forty-eight. Why would they come against us? Read that. If we let him thus alone, if we don't make these videos against them and right. call them black Hebrew Israelites and Gaston County. If we don't stand up mm -hmm. and cult church, read on. All men will believe on him. They'll grow more and more okay. over the years. Right. That's what no class been saying. That's what uh, the dude in Gaston, uh, Gastonia yeah. said. Yep. The dude that watched the video in New Orleans and his minions are yeah. saying it in another way. Keep reading. Scary. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. We ain't going to be in the choir no more. That's where he was. That's where the last one is. Right. They're going to... Okay. <laughs> In the choir, I'm going to lose all my choir. And the church is going to shut down if we don't say something about them. We already losing members because we ain't got nothing to give the people in these times. But uh, shenanigans and uh, worldly ass songs. And what was the one they did in Atlanta on? Uh, swag and surf. Yeah. Swag, swag and, and surf, surf in the right. church. In the right. church. That's all they got for them. They ain't got no substance, so people are leaving because their spirits ain't fulfilled. Right. And then they hear us, and they find themselves in here. They losing their members, so they say uh, they're going to be replaced. Yeah. They got to say they got to say something against us and just throw stuff against the wall and hope more and more unlearned Christians listen to them. Like this guy right here. Pull up his video. Look at the stupidity he says. My peoples, if you're looking for one scripture that will debunk Revelation 21 verses 12, it'll be this scripture right here. Pause it. Revelation. We can go to it. We can go to it. But I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> Nobody. You know how big the Bible is to think one scripture Come on. is going to destroy 
the Israelites. Come on, man. Hey, you gonna go to Revelation seven? Hey, but Cap, he didn't say destroy yeah, the Israelites. He said a scripture to debunk oh. Revelation. That's what his exact he words were. Yeah, not the Bible. He debunking the Bible. He so whatever. he's wiser than Christ, basically. Yeah, he's wiser than Hold on. He's gonna use the Bible to debunk the Bible. <laughs> right. Let's That's see. Right. I think because he's gonna say because the doctrine of only Israel can be saved. Watch oh, this. Go good. back. Let's play it. You can play it from there. Hebrews 11, verses 1 through 4, and verse 16. The first three brothers are not Hebrew Israelites. Pause they it. Pause what? <laughs> now let's go to it. Let's read it. Oh let's go gosh. to it. Hebrews 11, verse 1. Okay. Y'all about to get debunked. All these Bibles up All these Bibles. Okay, so let's read verse 5. Well, he verse 4. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 4. Uh -huh. By faith, Abel. All right, that's one. Jump to verse 5. Verse 5. By faith, Enoch. Okay, that's two. And seven. verse 7. Verse 7, by faith, Noah. Okay, that's that's 3. Okay, and then he said, jump to verse 16. But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly, wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This is why uh, reading in context <laughs> um, that actually helps. But, you know, when you don't do that, you could jump around anywhere and make it whatever you want it to be. But even with that being said, that they not is Hebrew Israelites is right, what he's, right. he's claiming. Um, could you, can anybody go to uh, Genesis and see what God called his, uh, before we was princes yeah, of God? Right. <laughs> what, what was Enoch, uh, yeah, Abel, right, right. and Noah and called? Like said, mm -hmm. yeah, he, yeah. Read that. Genesis 6, I believe it is. Yep. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 1. And it came to pass that men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. That the sons of God. Hold on. What was Enoch, Abel, Noah, Adam? What was they? The sons of God. Now, now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go to Exodus. Go to Exodus and let's see what God uh, said about. Israel. 22. Where are we at? Exodus. 422. 422. 422. The book of Exodus, chapter 4 and verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, uh -huh. even my firstborn. Even his what? My firstborn. Well, wait a minute. Israel wasn't born in Genesis, so how was he the firstborn? Because they was the sons of God. Dang, man, that, that was two precepts. He said one. He said one scripture to destroy Revelation twenty one and twelve. So is so uh, uh, the sons of God came back on the earth after the flood as the princes of God. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> they are the sons of God. Let me Israel, princes of God. There you go. That does make sense. So now when you go to Revelation twenty one and twelve. Is that what he said? 21 and 12. So let's see what that say. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. And had a wall great and high and had 12 gates and at the gates 12 angels and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So it makes perfect sense that Abel, uh, Enoch and Noah, uh, when they come back. They Abraham and all of them, they're going to be a part of uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. What gate? Hell, we don't know, but we know they the sons of God. So right. ultimately, That's they come right. back, they the princes of God. And uh, get that in uh, uh, Mark. Watch this. This is proof. This is proof that uh, Abraham, Noah, and them were, uh, had the title of Israelites as well. Get that in Mark chapter 7. Uh, is that what I want? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Mark chapter 7, and uh, give me that where he talks about uh, the woman, the um, Samaritan woman. Uh, yeah, the married woman. Is it Mark 7? Oh, okay. The married woman? Yeah, seven husbands, that's what it is. 
Seven husbands. It might be Mark. It might not. It might be twelve. Uh, Thinking about John. It, seven husbands. Nah, I said Mark. Okay. Help me out. Oh, okay. Where's it at in Matthew? Matthew chapter 22. Okay, what's the precept for it in Mark? Four corner news. Use in references. <laughs> Where truth speaks. Mark 12. Okay, all right. We'll read that one. Matthew 22. 22, 23. Found the one in Mark chapter 12, Cap. Oh, it's Mark 12. I knew it was there. What did I say, seven, though? I said seven. Okay, let's read that verse 18, Mark 12, 18. Mark chapter 12 and verse 18. Then come unto him the Sadducees, which say there is no resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Master, Moses wrote unto us, if a man's brother die and leave his wife behind him, and leave no children, that his brother should take his wife, and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were seven brethren and the first took a wife, and dying left no seed. And it goes on all the way down to the seven, right? Now jump up to verse 23. Verse 23. In the resurrection, therefore, when they shall rise, whose wife shall she be of them? For the seven had her to wife. And Jesus answering said unto them, Do ye not therefore err, because ye know not the scriptures? This is what's going on with these people that, that are fearful of the Israelites. You don't know the scriptures. Watch mm. this. Keep reading. Neither the power of God. Uh -huh. For when they shall rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels which are in heaven. That means eternal. Go ahead. And it's touching the dead that they rise. Have you not read in the book now of listen Moses? listen to this. He's talking about dead folk, right? Read. Have ye not read in the book of Moses, how in the bush God spake unto him, saying, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. None of them was considered Israelites, but what did God say? He is not the God of the dead. Hold on, he's not the God of who? The God of the dead. Well, wait a minute, he's speaking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which was technically what? Dead. But he said they not dead. <laughs> Read that part again, verse 27. He is not the God of the dead, uh -huh. but the God of the living. He's the God of the what? Of the living. So what did Jesus say about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Right. He said they around here, you just don't even know who they yeah, are. Right. They around here living. This is way past Enoch, way past mm -hmm. Noah, way past Abel. But Christ is telling you Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob supposedly dead people. Around here living. Keep reading. But the God of the living, ye therefore do greatly err. Man, y'all know the Bible, Christians, man. So that means they came out of one of those 12 one sons of them. Jacob. Right. What, and, and, For them to be walking around here. Yep. And then uh, what, what's the scripture saying, Isaiah? They, we issue out of the waters of Judah. Judah yeah. right. So Cap Severus is uh, honorary Judah. Judah. <laughs> <laughs> Levi Daniel. over here. Daniel, yeah, he bitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Honorary Judah, right too. As a guy, you are no, no, honorary no, no, Judah. The scripture don't say Asher, honorary. Asher, Pagel, honorary Judah. The scripture don't say honorary welcome, Judah. Welcome, he welcome. He just says we're Judah. <laughs> Y'all welcome. Y'all welcome. <laughs> All praises. We in this building. Uh, let's get uh, Luke chapter 3. Let's go uh, the genealogy. Since they, they want to talk about some Abraham. Enoch, ah, bring it out. That. Give me uh, Luke chapter 3. Start at a verse uh, 23. Luke chapter 3 and verse 23. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being as was supposed the son of Joseph. Who is he the son of? The son of Joseph. Which was in the tribe of Judah. Read. Which was the son of Heli. Uh -huh. Which was the son of Mephat. So we're going through uh, Mary's uh, line. Mm -hmm. Jump down to uh, jump down 31. to 31. Which was the son of Melia, which was the son of Menon, which was oh, the right. son of Metatha, Metatha, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David, uh -huh. which was the son of Jesse. Jump down to 34. Which was the son of Jacob, mm. which was the son of Isaac, uh -huh. which was the son of Abraham, uh -huh. which was the son of Thara. Now, which, all of those other people that he was talking about, jump down to 38. Yeah. Which was the son of Enos, e uh, which was the Enoch. son of 
which was the son of Seth, uh -huh. which was the son of Adam, uh -huh. which was the son of God. So, mm. hey, they Dang. in Jesus Christ line, you know they come from, J Jesus Christ comes from Judah, Mary comes from Judah, Joseph comes from yep. Judah. You go all the way down the line, they even say people that you say not in the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm, how about yeah. that? Why they ain't part of his uh, heritage? There you go. How about that? Huh? Yeah, we get Shut one the more. hell up, Christian. Uh, you touch him up. That's fear. He got to say that because of fear. We get one more cap? Yeah, go Matthew ahead. 1. Get it. Matthew chapter 1, reverse 1. Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ from the tribe of Judah. Go ahead. The son of David. Uh -huh. yeah. The son that of... That was also Judah. Go ahead. The son of Abraham. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey. Right. What tribe was Abraham from? Right. Read on. Abraham begat Isaac. Begat who? Begat Isaac. What tribe was Isaac from? Right. Come on. And Isaac begat Jacob. There you go. Jacob begot the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. The forefather of Israel. Hell, what tribe was I, uh, Jacob from? Right. You he was the what daddy tribe of Jacob the 12 from? tribes. So he ain't getting in, huh? And that's, then, what, that's what you're saying, Christian. And then at the top, it said Jesus Christ genealogy. You understand? Shut, Shut up, up, Christian. Shut so, your mouth. So for you Christians, so you could understand, God only deals with covenant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They yeah. love saying that word. Yes. Hey, he hey, deals hey, with hey, covenant. What the, uh, the armadillo said, there's another L. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there you go. Hold you that. that one, buddy. Yeah. Now, uh, they're out here doing all this hating uh, because of fear, but, but we out here steadily doing this. Pull up that next uh, article. While you're out here fearful of us, but look what we doing. Yes, right. Haitian helping hands. Hurricane barrel cleanup. Let's scroll down, man. Let's scroll down and see who's in this article. You can keep going through there. Oh, start oh, right there. Wow. Oh, hey. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at God. Let's go. Helping hands, Levi, helping people that went through the hurricane barrel. So this is what a hate group looks like. Man, so, I, so, so, so I guess like, hey, you know, no people. That. <laughs> yeah. so, so I guess those people that's going to Africa for minish, uh, missionary, missionary work, they're, they're, they're a hate group too. Oh, man. oh wow, look right. at that. Power bottom. Yes. Yes. My bad. Let's keep scrolling, man. <laughs> keep scrolling in them images, man. So you see, we out there helping That's our right. brothers. We look did. at this. Right. Look at that. Right. So right. much they said, hey, let us get a picture with y'all. Right. Yeah, great, great work going on. That's right. in Jamaica. Right there. All yeah, praise to the Jamaica. most high. So Levi came down to Jamaica to help our brothers that went through the right. hurricane. That's, right. That's, right. Though. That's a cult church. Yeah, they're getting too big. Yeah. They're helping too many people. Right. And you know what's good about that, Cap? That so-called Haitians are helping out Benji because they like to keep us separated. Right. Right. They don't yeah. want us working together. No. Yeah. Right. And we, I spoke to that sister in the middle there, and um, what she does is those refugees that are scattered uh, all across the islands, she basically helps them get paperwork. And she had an interview with most of the brothers there, the Levi brothers that was in Jamaica, and found out most of them had uh, masonry uh, skills, mm -hmm. carpentry uh, skills, farming skills and able to just adjust them to the people uh, in Jamaica. So all it's praises all to much that's work right. happening, y'all. Uh, all work. praise to the most that's time. Right. Yeah. Play that other video, show uh, what we out here doing. And that's why you know it's just straight fear right. speaking on behalf of Esau and his minions. Play it. It feels Boy. good to have people standing with us that I know mean business. And you know, it's Kendrick I ain't worried about it. I don't feel like y'all gonna fall off. I'm glad to know that we got some brothers that demand justice with me. We're your family. So we're here. And like I said before, it just begins now. That's judge one! You touch a song! Touch a song. We're gonna use our platform to make sure that what happened to our brother gets published around the planet. Okay, if the news don't do their job, whether they do it or not, we are gonna do our job. That's right. So your brothers are here. Mm. Woo! That's right. Read that again one 
one more time before we close it out in this, uh, on this top. Revelation 11 and verse 11. This the, is why they fear us. Go ahead. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. That's what you see. Instead of being fearful, acknowledge that the spirit of God has fallen on those black, Hispanic, and native Indian men that's in that, in that march. It has fell upon them, and now they are no longer criminals. They no longer baby daddies and making baby mamas or, or drug dealers. They That's are actually right. law-abiding citizens. Right. right. You safe for around an Israelite than you are most people in the world. Right. But they won't hey, acknowledge that. You mm. safe for around a you said it right. You safe for around an Israelite than the safer around a Christian. Oh, yeah. Because right. all yeah, your stick-up kids and robbery guys and your shooters, yeah. what mm -hmm. they got around their neck? Big cross. Christian Damn cross. Right. Yep. You right Jesus about that. Jesus pieces. White Jesus pieces. Acknowledge the fact that the spirit of life from God has entered into them, and what happened? And they stood upon their feet. That's what you got to do, because when the spirit of God is in you, you can't stay down. Nope. Yeah. It makes you get up. It's too much power in it to lay down on the ground. Right. You got to stand up, and we stand it upon our feet. And what happens? And great fear fell upon them which saw them. Because they ultimately hate God and love the white man right. more than they do God. No matter what they say with their mouth, they, their affinity is to that white man and that Christian European doctrine that was taught to them instead of moving with the spirit of God that's making man stand up yeah. and be better than they was, they fight against it because yeah. they didn't want their place taken from them. Right. Nation is men leading by example. 